It's oh, Monday. Actually, go. you know what? Felix. What? Here, you do it. But I don't. Uh, fine. It's Monday morning. I don't know the date because I'm a cat. My owner's an idiot. And welcome to his stupid video. What he said. But it's vlog, not video. Stupid cat. It's actually 12.30 in the afternoon, as you can tell. I had a late start today. Still want to go out and take the filter out of the G6 and do the uh, do the recharge on it and see how that goes. I also got a fair lunch for work today because it's back to work day. And yeah, it's ball rolling. So, let's uh, friggin' do stuff. Oh man, I super slept in because I was so comfy. I just did not want to do anything. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. But, uh, yeah, we'll get something going today. I want to do that K&N filter, clean it all out, and get it all recharged, and see if that increases my fuel mileage and overall performance of the car, because right now it runs like a ball bag. So, yeah, let's do that, and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, let's get started on that filter and get that over with. Looks like the bird shit all over my car. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think it needs a cleaning. Look at that mess. Oh god. Well, we'll get this stuff onto it and then uh, let it sit for 10 minutes and freaking go from there. So all you do is just spray this here all over the filter, soak it well. Yeah, look at that. It'll break down any dirt and debris inside the filter. And then you give her a quick rinse and it should be clean. If not, just repeat these steps. So we'll let that soak in. Give it about 10 minutes, and we should be rocking. In the meantime, it's getting kind of dirty under here. <laughs> oh well, not a big deal. That's where the air filter went. I lost my sticker that says stop k and filter inside. I wish I still had that because every time I bring the car in for an oil change, they always reach for the air box and it's like, no, don't friggin' do her. But, oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to coat both sides. I think I might do both sides. Talk to you in a bit, guys. Well, I brought it inside and rinsed it out, and it looks a hell of a lot better. Now I just gotta wait for it to dry off, and then spray the oil on it. And then put it back in the car, and frig, we're done. Yeah, that's awesome. Way cheaper than keep buying those paper air filters, eh? And apparently these ones flow better too, so that's a bonus. So we'll wait for that to dry, and then uh, go from there. Until then, I see one of my wasp friends over there. Can you see that? Oh, he's already dead. Oh well. My bug killer of choice, engine cleaner. Kills those sons of bitches fast. <laughs> well, I guess now we just gotta wait for that to dry. Am I right? Uh, let's see what the instructions say. Gently shake off excess water and allow filter to dry naturally. Do not oil until filter is dry. Look, it says so right there. So, we'll let that dry and go from there. It says to let this dry naturally, so I figure the best way to do it is let it sit in the sun and yeah. So we'll let that go. And way back here on my laptop, it's a whole lot of crap. So I'm watching J Monty Jams on the YouTube TV. Sort of worked. So the lady ran in our got some entertainment while I wait, I guess, eh? Yeah. Apples. Alrighty, the filter's nice and dry. Time to apply this air filter oil. So they say hold it about three inches away and spray like a mofo. Alrighty. And then they say let it wick, which means it takes 20 minutes for it to do that. So we'll let that wick, and then we'll toss her back in the car. And tonight we'll see if it actually makes an improvement, because that filter was dirty. I kind of didn't show you guys the rinse out. And if I did, you would have been like, oh my god, that's disgusting. Because a lot of crap came out of it, and it was pretty gross. But uh, right now, I'm watching uh, Colts vlogging. Apparently, they're having a storm over there and a power failure, so, uh, oh, power must be back. No, they're outside on their MacBooks. Oh, freaking guys. Right, well, there is Mike. Mike gave us some track So, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to head her inside and get some food and... Um, yeah, some Arby's. Let this uh, do its wicking and uh, check on it in a half an hour. 
Yeah. Alrighty, I just put the filter back in the car. It's about 2.30 now. And car's all closed up. Look good. I don't know about that wicking thing. Not sure what that means, but uh, yeah, the filter was all red again. So we'll see how she drives when we go to work. As for me, I need to start getting ready for work. That's why I got my lunch pail. My next plan of attack is to seal up the garage, go inside, have a shower, eat something, get my lunch ready, and head into work. Let's do this. Alrighty, well, I'm actually doing eggs. Gonna rock some eggs and some bacon, and that should be pretty good. I really definitely do need a shower today, though. Holy crap, I smell like the back end of a skunk, let me tell you. But, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna freaking get some food into us. I gotta edit the first half of the vlog just to get it done and over with. So that when I come home tonight, there isn't too much work to do. And yeah, that's the battle plan for today. Uh, no idea what tonight's going to bring. Just got some interesting news. Uh, a lot of you know that Microsoft bought out Nokia, right? Apparently Google bought out Motorola. At least their cell phone division. So now Google owns Motorola and 17,000 patents on cell phone technology. This can mean a really sweet Google Android phone coming from Google in the very near future. I can't friggin' wait. So we'll have to see what they do with this technology. As for uh, me, I'm gonna fry this egg, make this bacon, drive it into me, and get on with my day. Peace. So there we go. Big chunks of bacon, nice big egg. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna edit some of this vlog, like I said, and then uh, we'll go from there. Because you know me, I need a shower. I said it like 15 times, so I mean it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, friggin' do this. Got my towel. I'm gonna go have a shower. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh, why does that cat always give me attitude? Oh, I'm coming downstairs. Lose some weight, fatty. Jesus. I can hear him. I just don't know where the hell he is. That's because I'm hiding, you goof. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. He's hiding in his corner. Crap, found me. This is not good. Um, hey. hi. Hello. Um, What are hi. you doing? I am not doing anything. Huh? Okay, maybe I'm sulking. Hiding in your corner, I see. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'm not Causing here. trouble over here, you little punk? No, I don't cause trouble. You do. Oh, you're such a little bastard. Hey, don't call me that. People might watch this. Don't you give me lip. Oh, I'm sorry. Friggin' nah, thing. jackass. Oh, he's been getting more and more vocal lately. Well, I don't know. Um, people apparently, he's been sneaking on my Macintosh, my so? MacBook. You don't use it. And been using the girlfriend's iPad. And has been watching. Holy shit. What? What would you see? Look at the size of that son oh, of a goof. Oh crap, I'm in trouble. Oh, he's gonna die. Who, me? What did I do? Book, spider. Oh, you mean the spider. Okay, I see. Problem solved. Okay. Any more of you bastards in here? Man, if the girlfriend saw that, she would have screamed like a mofo. Look at and him slide down the wall. Look at him. Fed me. Oh Look at him. And. Hey, don't There go. you go. No, I drank from go there. Go for a swim, you bastard. Come on. Bye bye. Oh. I still have eaten. If the girlfriend would have seen that, she would have just went eight tits nuts. But, you know, I could have eaten that. Hey. Okay. It's your job to eat the spiders around here. Uh, leave me alone. Smarten up. No, I don't want to. Freaking cat's not doing his damn job. He won't eat the mice. He won't eat the spiders. My job is to sit here and look oh, cute. Oh, for crying out loud. What? What'd oh, well, have? we got that one good. Oh. Well, I'm going to go outside for a smoke and let the stupid fur ball out. And then, uh... I'm not a stupid fur ball. Yeah, we're going to go from there. Oh, you mean the dog. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like it when I kill spiders and stuff like that on the vlogs. Because, you know, it could rain. And killing things probably isn't a good thing, like killing bugs and that. But the amount of spiders we have in our house... It's disgusting, and the girlfriend's petrified of them. So whenever I see them, I make sure to make it my business to slaughter them. Ah, oh, friggin'. Oreo wanted to come outside, and I don't know why. Oh, now I do. There he goes. He's finally peeing. About friggin' time. Felix there, I don't know what his problem is today. He's been giving me attitude all day, just lounging around, not even doing his job. He's supposed to keep care of the mice problem. He's supposed to take care of the friggin' spider problem. All he does is sit on the couch all day, watch television. And like I said, he's been on my MacBook watching the vlogs. So he knows that uh, a lot of people out there like it when he talks. So I think that's probably why he's getting more verbal in the videos. He wanted to start his own YouTube channel, so... I threw him a camera, threw him the pink flip, and said, here, hold this. And he goes, but it's pink. And I'm like, dude, just hold it. 
And he's like, well, no, it's pink. Give me the white one at least. First he wanted the black one, and I told him he can go f himself because that one's mine. And then I gave him the white one, and he's like trying to walk and tripod with his camera in his hand, and like all you could see is his mouth and his nose and a little bit of whisker. Like he couldn't even aim it on his face. So stupid. So I told him, I said, you can't. You can't do it, bud. And like you can't even hold the freaking camera. How the hell are you gonna vlog? So now he wants me to build him some special harness that goes around his waist and holds the camera out in front of him, so he walks around and he can do vlogs and wants to start his own YouTube channel and he wants to take over the MacBook for editing because he heard iMovie's easier to use than any other program out there. And oh my God. Things I gotta deal with with that cat. He just wants to go on the internet and see how many people will watch his videos. He's just freaking. Well, I'm gonna go back inside, have a shower, deal with the cat, because what can I do? And then head her into work, and hopefully while I'm gone, he doesn't freaking confiscate my MacBook again. And freaking now I know why the internet cap keeps getting blown. It's not because of the downloading, and it's not because of freaking YouTube watching, it's because of him. He goes on YouTube there, and he, he loves that annoying orange. He watches that all the time, and uh, he wants to make a channel like that too, and I'm like, dude, just back off. <laughs> just, just be in my vlogs, bud. You know, like, but seriously, how many people out there would actually watch Talking Cat on YouTube if there's a dedicated channel to it? I don't think many. You know, but we'll see. I don't know. Probably some people out there would watch it. You might get like 40 subscribers or something. I don't know. But anywho, I'm gonna head her back inside, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, Felix, you happy? No. I told the YouTubers that you wanted to vlog. We'll see what they say about it. Shit. I told them about your uh, experience with trying to hold the camera, too. So, uh... Why'd you do that? Jesus. You're just a sucker. Aw, <laughs> Frank. Get opposable thumbs, then we'll talk. No. He's upset with me now. He didn't want me to bring that out in the open, I guess. I don't know. His problem. Well, it's that time again. Time where I gotta go to work. So, it's about 3.36 now. I'm gonna head her inside, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. And, um... Car's running great, so let's see if that solved the problem. Yeah. So I'm gonna head her inside. I do have my gym clothes back there because I'm probably gonna hit the gym tonight. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, it's 5.30 break time. And I just realized that I majorly screwed up today. Left my wallet at home, my desk. The reason why this poses a problem is because inside my wallet is my gym membership, which sucks. Which means I probably can't go to the gym tonight. I'm gonna try anyway. See if they'll let me in by identification. Maybe they can pull it up on the computer and buzz me in. Oh, frig. Oh well, I'm just out for a walk right now. Gonna head back inside, have a couple cigarettes, and call it a day. Alrighty, you guys are probably wondering, Adam, what the hell are you doing in your in your car? And it's still light out. Well, like I said on break, I forgot my wallet. And if I want to go to the gym tonight, I need my wallet. So I gotta go home and get my friggin' wallet. So let's do that. We're off. This so wasn't worth it. I'm gonna be late getting back to work. This construction is retarded. Right there in French it says, ah, oh, no, that's in English. The one back there is in French. Access to Trout Lake Road is closed. So now I gotta take a detour just to get home. Frank's sakes. Well, that was complete bullshit. Had to basically loop around past my parents' house just to get home. But I got my wallet. So I'm gonna go to the gym tonight and bust ass. It's just freaking ridiculous, all this construction in town. You literally gotta take these like massive detours just to uh, get around places. And it's like, it's, it's oh. If they just focus their efforts on one area, do it, and then shut down another area, focus efforts there and do it. No, instead they spread all their freaking construction crews around so thin that it takes them pretty much all summer to get all the jobs done and then you know you got some nice driving in the fall and then winter hits and guess what winter beats the living shit out of the pavement and they got to redo everything so in my mind it's a complete waste of friggin time this is probably why i'm not part of the uh, city council because if i was let me tell you oh let me tell you shit would hit the proverbial fan well time to head back to work i pretty much killed my lunch freak sakes so Let's uh, get back to work. That was a waste of a lunch break, but at least I got my wallet. All right, well, I'm gonna head her back inside, carry on with the night, and I'll talk to you guys at 10, 10.30. Bye. All righty, well, it's midnight, and 
I'm gonna head her off to the gym because, well, that's why I went home on lunch. Just to get my wallet so I can get my gym card. So, I have a plan of attack for this one. I am going to do something a little different. Instead of going completely ape tits on the weights, see, gym card. Okay, like I said, like I was saying, um, instead of going completely crazy on the weights, I'm going to tame it down. Actually, I wanted to go back inside and grab my water bottle. I don't like bringing my phone with me to the gym, so I'm gonna toss that in there. I'll bring the camera, bring my keys. Okay, I gotta go back inside, grab my water bottle. And yeah, instead of going balls deep on the weights like I always used to do, or I did two weeks ago anyway, now what I'm gonna do is moderate weight, tons of reps on target areas, mainly work my abs, and uh, basically just try and do a uh, butter. I'm gonna try for 45 minutes of cardio. I know it's a lot of cardio, but I'm gonna try for it. So that's the battle plan. That's what I'm gonna do. And let's do it. Point out that I really, really, really hate being in that building alone at night. I swear to Christ, it's friggin' haunted. But I haven't seen anything in there. Just you hear a lot of weird friggin' noises at night. Well, time to head off to the gym, which is conveniently located right by work. So I'm gonna do that now and power through this workout and hopefully be home by 1.30. Talk to you guys in a bit. Not sure how well you can see me, but it's 1.30. Just got out of the gym. It smells like acid rain out here. Probably gonna get a storm tonight. That's what I got for killing that spider earlier today. <laughs> well, time for the trek back to the car. And then head her home and finish off the vlog. Alright, let's do this. Alrighty, I'm home. And that workout is gonna kick my ass. <laughs> Basically all I did was, I, like I said, I was gonna work the muscles light. And I did about 30 reps at a moderate weight instead of doing my usual heavy weight with 8 reps. And yeah, it was a different kind of burn. It was a good burn, but uh, that's fine. So, and then after that I ran the uh, exercise bike for 35 minutes. Let me tell you, an exercise bike hurts. Not the legs, well, but uh, not really the legs. Hurts the ass. Those seats suck. Holy shit, I had a mega wedge going on. So I don't think I'm going to ride the exercise bikes anymore. I think I'm going to change it up. Maybe try a treadmill tomorrow night or something. Just do some uh, more cardio. I'm thinking about doing cardio like four times a week. Just to, you know, pick it up a bit and get a little bit more exercise. And I'll still rock the weights every once in a while. But uh, I'm going to really focus it on cardio and on abs. Really work the abs up. So I can build up the muscle there, the muscle will eat away at the fat, so I've been told. And uh, maybe I can get rid of the old beer locker here, or the cheeseburger locker. Because, uh, what does, uh, what does Dylan call me? CMF, cheeseburger eating motherfucker? Yeah, that's what he calls me. He calls himself a buff-ass motherfucker, but apparently I'm a cheeseburger eating motherfucker. Go Dylan Taylor, uh, D what is it? Dylan is for the win. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, because you know me, I like it when you hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video, and well, frig, I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you've seen in this video, or just concerns in general, leave them in the comment section below. If I can, I will answer. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.